and welcome to this five minute teardown and a quick check to see if it still works of this lambda over voltage protector to open the case you don't need to remove the label but the glue's gone on this one it's quite easy if you just pull these out of the way, pull them up. Rotate them. And they will unscrew out. Oops. I'll lose the washer. And then you can just see these here. You be careful as they little C clips spring off, and you don't want to lose them. And then you'll find the case. Just lifts off. And uh, looks like a little bit of fiberglass sheet in there for insulation. Here we have the SCR Q1, Q2, the adjustment pot. It's like the Femista down there. But, uh, that's it. Now you might find there's a capacitor on there. And I just remembered why that's there. Because I fitted that back in the 80s when my next door neighbour's central heating pump or central heating system you should shut down at 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, this would trip and take the, take the power supply down. And I found that I had the voltage set 100 millivolts above the output of the power supply. And I put the capacitor across it and that stopped the trip. But then I did eventually wind up the supply, bit, the uh, trip level a bit. And uh, it never tripped again in all its life. But as you, can, as you saw earlier, it still works. So there we have it. And believe it or not, you can still buy these on eBay from America. They obviously, I don't know if they're still a current design, but you can still buy them. And uh, down there, I'll put a link for a manual that I found. And uh, we'll have a look at the circuit diagram in a second. So here we can see here the instruction manual for the LMOV-2. It's in a uh, bit of a sorry state. But uh, it says here the dash 2 anywhere between 6 and 20 volts. The suggested range is 4.2 to 16. And there's a list of the power supplies it come to. I've taken apart the power supply it came to and thrown it away as it was uh, decomposing with rust and the capacitor's all gone. And here we come down to like the theory of operation. And uh, what it basically says is it's got a voltage divider which is uh, supplying 
a voltage to Q1 and when Q1 is biased on it turns it biases on Q2 and Q2 being biased on puts a voltage on the gate of the silicon control rectifier which is wired across the uh, input and it just crowbars or short circuits the supply and your power supply has to be able to withstand the short circuit and remove the current before it does any damage and this bit just tells you this bit just tells you how to set it up but that's how it looked on the back of my power supply it screwed into the back and then the output the two wires just went to the output and uh, when it crowbarred you knew it crowbarred because the power supply would hum considerably loud before it went into uh, shutdown and here's the circuit uh, as you can see there's like a one the two the three they all have different values of the components marked and basically you are just dividing down the voltage between the red and the black it's temperature stabilized to make it more accurate and so basically as the voltage increases the current flowing down here produces a volt drop across these components and when the volt drop across these components is approximately 0.6 of a volt of course this transistor being an MPN will turn on pulling this down and if this volt if the voltage across R5 goes above 0.6 of a volt then of course Q2 will be turned fully on Q2 turns fully on pulls the gate of, a, of the rectifier it pulls the uh, gate of that high switching it on and just shorting it out and of course once the current's flowing this stays hard on and you know it can withstand you know, 30 amps for a minute or so it does say somewhere in here what it will stand but uh, that's the theory of operation here it is over voltage protector connected to a load of a bulb or it's a bulb in series with it which will light when that goes into the short mode over here you can see we're putting 14.39 volts at 3 milliamps into it and uh, we'll slightly wind it up and see where it trips Uh, 14, 14.5, high 5, 14.6, and there it goes, 14.66, so we back it off a bit, reset the power slide back on, wind it back up slowly, Six six somewhere between six six and six seven is where it trips. And if you turn it off, put it back on at point six seven, it trips straight away. But, uh, six six it doesn't off again six 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 seven how's that for sensitivity ten millivolts If you like this video please subscribe hit the bell uh, give the video a thumbs up comment down below share everything helps thanks very much for watching